Social security is not just a concern for our elders or the disabled. It is not just a worry for the individual because social security is a social justice cause. As you already heard, social security lifts millions out of poverty. It is also able to help seven million children in this country. That's one out of every 10 children in the United States. Protecting Social Security means that American families have a reliable source of income from the youngest generation to the oldest elder. We stand united, workers, children, families, and seniors. We demand that everybody in this country has the dignity they deserve, has the care and resources they need to safely and securely retire or to be able to take care of their family when they are no longer able to. This is what Social Security provides, and there is no truth in the claims that Social Security has to inevitably go bankrupt, and there is no justice in the call for cuts, and there is no need to privatize any portion of Social Security. As a multi-generational and multi-racial force, we stand united. These immoral attacks will not go on. We will protect Social Security. As we know, any cuts to Social Security will disproportionately fall hard on women, on the working poor, and on workers from communities of color who are forced to rely on Social Security for a much higher portion of income. With only minor adjustments, we know Social Security can easily be solvent. Instead of talking about cuts, let's talk about how we can improve the benefits for the lowest wage workers. And because we know that Social Security is not causing this federal deficits, let's end these wars and get rid of the tax breaks for the rich. So I'll conclude by saying this. There is no reason that our country cannot maintain its promise to this and future generations of Social Security beneficiaries. It is a central component to this nation's social contracts with this generation, with future generations, and with all workers.